Picture this one truck, just one. Behind it, a line of trailers so long that if you started walking at one end, you'd need 20 minutes to reach the front. Sounds impossible, right? Well, it's not. In Australia, a Mack Titan once pulled 112 trailers, stretching nearly 1.5 kilometers long. That's longer than the world's tallest skyscraper laid flat. That's longer than 15 football fields. That's not just a truck, that's a moving wall of steel. And today, we're gonna dive into the madness of road trains. It's the most powerful machines ever to hit the asphalt. So buckle up. This isn't just about horsepower and trailers. This is about pure engineering insanity, world records, and stories that will leave your jaw on the floor. The Mack Titan and 112 trailers. Australia has a love affair with road trains. Out there in the dusty outback, where towns can be hundreds of miles apart, trucks aren't just transport, they're lifelines. And in 2006, John Atkinson decided to push the limits of what one truck could do. He climbed into his Mack Titan, a beast of a machine, and started hooking up trailers. 1, 2, 10, 50. By the time he was done, the train behind him looked endless. 112 trailers, weighing more than 1,300 tons, lined up behind a single truck. When he fired up the engine, the ground shook. The Outback had seen plenty of big rigs before, but nothing like this. To give you perspective, imagine being stuck at a crossing while this thing rolled by. You'd finish your coffee. You'd scroll Instagram. The French giant, Nicola Tractomus. If Australia has the longest, France built one of the strongest. Meet the Nicolas Tractomus, a truck so massive it looks like it was built for Godzilla. Produced from the 1970s until 2016, it's often called the largest road-going truck in the world. And for good reason, the Tractomus packed more than 1,100 horsepower, enough muscle to tow mining equipment heavier than a small town. Its wheels were taller than some people. Its cab looked like an armored bunker. When one of these rolled through a mining site, it didn't just look powerful, it looked unstoppable. Here's a fun way to imagine it. Take 10 Formula One cars, line them up, and merge all their engines into one truck. That's the Tractomaze. And instead of chasing podium finishes, it's dragging half a mountain across the desert. Road trains versus locomotives. Now let's put things into perspective. Road trains are beasts, yes, but locomotives, they're monsters on steroids. Take China's HXD One Electric Locomotive. It produces nearly 29 megawatts of power, about 38,600 horsepower. That's more horsepower than 35 Tractomus trucks combined, a number so absurd it almost feels made up. Imagine 35 of the biggest trucks on earth roaring together, then realize one locomotive casually matches them. Of course, locomotives run on rails. They don't have to deal with outback dust, kangaroos, or potholes the size of swimming pools. But the comparison shows you just how wild these numbers get. When you tell someone a truck has 1,100 horsepower, they nod politely. But when you tell them it's the same as 10 Formula One cars or 1 35th of a Chinese super locomotive, their eyes widen and suddenly the story sticks. Why road trains exist? Let's zoom out for a moment. Why even build trucks this big? Simple. Australia is massive. Towns are far apart. Rail lines don't always cut it. Helicopters are expensive and planes can't land everywhere. So when you need to move cattle, fuel, or ore across hundreds of miles of nothingness, you don't send a convoy, you send a road train. Imagine trying to deliver fuel to a remote mining camp. You could send 10 trucks, each burning fuel, just to get there. Or you could send one truck dragging 10 trailers, slashing costs and time. Efficiency wins every time, and in the outback, efficiency isn't just smart, it's survival. Because breaking down in the middle of nowhere isn't just inconvenient, it's dangerous. Storytelling lessons from road trains. Now, let's shift gears. Road trains aren't just mechanical marvels, they're metaphors for storytelling. How? Let's break it down. The Mack Titan teaches us to start big. If you want to grab attention, lead with the most insane fact you've got. Don't bury it. Don't save it for later. Hook your audience with the 1.5 kilometer monster right out of the gate. The Tractomus teaches us to make scale relatable. Saying 1100 horsepower sounds abstract. Saying 10 Formula One cars in one truck makes it unforgettable. Storytelling isn't just about numbers. It's about translation. The HXD1 locomotive teaches us to shock with comparison. 
comparison. When you tell someone that a train has 35 times the power of a Tractoma's, their brain lights up. Surprise is fuel for memory. Humor on the highway, road trains invite jokes. You can't help it. Imagine explaining to someone in the US that your truck is over a kilometer long. They'd assume you were exaggerating or lying. But in Australia, that's Tuesday. Think about kangaroos. You know how they bounce across highways sometimes? Imagine one trying to cross in front of a 112 trailer road train. By the time it hops halfway, the truck is still going. That kangaroo might as well pack a lunch or consider traffic lights. Road trains don't belong in cities, but picture it anyway. A 1.5 kilometer truck trying to turn left in downtown Sydney. You'd need the entire police force to block intersections. Maybe even call in the Navy. Humor isn't just for laughs, it's glue. It keeps people watching, it keeps people listening. And when your subject is already absurd, humor is natural. The emotional engine. Here's the thing, nobody needs to know about a Mac Titan pulling 112 trailers to survive daily life. But we love hearing about it anyway. Why? Because it's a story of human audacity. Someone looked at a truck, looked at 112 trailers, and thought, yeah, let's try this. It's madness, it's ambition, it's courage, and that's what connects us. Stories about machines are really stories about people. The driver in the cab staring down a chain of steel that stretches into the horizon represents all of us when we face something impossible. And when the impossible moves even just a few feet, it inspires us to move too. Building your own road train story. So how do you take this energy and use it in your own storytelling? Start with your biggest, boldest fact. Don't ease in. Slam the audience with your Mac Titan moment. Then scale it with comparisons they can visualize, throw in humor to make it stick, and pace yourself. Keep sentences short when you want intensity, slow down when you want impact. Above all, remember that the best stories aren't just told, they're felt. A good story is like a road train. It looks impossible at first, but when it moves, it takes everything with it. We've journeyed from Australia's record-breaking road trains to France's powerhouse Tractomas, and even to China's super locomotives. Along the way, we saw how raw numbers become unforgettable when turned into stories. Now it's your turn, lead boldly like the Mac Titan, scale your ideas like the Tractomas, and surprise like the HXD one. And don't forget the humor, it's what makes the impossible feel human. Because in the end, machines aren't just about horsepower, and stories aren't just about words. Both are measured by how deeply they move us. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more insane engineering tales. Drop your wildest storytelling challenge in the comments, I'd love to help you haul it across the finish line. And check out the next video, where we'll explore the most mind-bending bridges ever built. Until then, keep your engines roaring and your stories unstoppable.